yourself usually pretty smart if you listen to it in a good way and learn how to listen to the good and bad of your brain versus the, the actual sound from your soul that vibrates through it. So get ready for that. Uh, I would say at least have water, flashlights, and those kind of things on hand. Who knows how much worse or things it could be where you are. Here in Hawaii, a lot of people can't do anything. They're sleeping in tents and stuff, so yeah, there's not much more they can do. They don't have the money to leave the island or get a get a hotel or get a house or anything else. So do we care about these people? Do we care about the world in this new age? We love everybody. We send unconditional love to everybody. I, I can go into that because I think that's the most ridiculous word mankind has ever created. Unconditional love. And then give it the definition. Well, I won't say anything. In Hawaii, uh, the volcano is still going off. Uh, it's moving a little bit further to the one side. Uh, any better? Any worse? No, it's just still going off. And as we know, every earthquake we have, which is every morning, at about a 5.2 or 3, the volcano drops inside the center 40 feet, bringing more and more of the circle, the ring around it, down. So it's it's dramatic to the, to the uh, volcano itself. How far can it sink down? How far is it going to go? Uh, we'll get into that a little more in detail later. Uh, I'm trying to get back to man, his ego, which many believe that they don't have an ego. Oh, we have to have an ego. Well, yeah, you have to have some kind of an ego. As long as it isn't abusive to anybody else. You can be as abusive as you want to yourself. Uh, the volcano uh, is eaten through everything. Now, they did a test on the temperature. It's the hottest lava they ever had. On top of that, they can determine by testing the lava when it's dry uh, where it's coming from, how far down, which direction, where it was, and things like that. So it's given them a lot of information, which they're not going to publicly release. Because our history is based on that. And if they want to control our history, they control what they say about what they discover. For number one, don't tell them the truth. Give them a lie and make them think that's the truth. So we're at this point. These things are happening. People aren't listening to the important things, and they'd rather be listening to the idiotic things. So for me... I watch America's Got Talent. It's the only entertainment that I really get out of TV. Uh, I like to see rising stars that have talent. The Gong Show, I'm really sick of that. I when it, when it went off the air many years ago, I was glad. Now that it's back on, it's not much better. Uh, you know, you go to watch TV, do you want to watch intelligent acts or you want to just watch ignorant people be ignorant? And I can go outside and see that. I don't need to watch TV to see it. But uh, one of the most incredible acts was a uh, high, high, uh, not a high wire, but they were swings, and I went at. Uh, they were doing incredible things until he slipped and she slid out of his hands. Uh, they had the stage on fire and all kinds of things. She she survived and got right back up, but he dropped her. Uh, it was real scary. Everything he was doing was scary. All the people, the judges were freaking out. So, you know, we do things for entertainment. If you can get a little entertainment, that's great. But try not to live in the world where I just want to be entertained because then you do not care about what's going on. You don't get involved with what's going on. And people with money uh, do things to pay off their taxes. When they donate money, it's only about that. It has nothing to do with helping mankind become a better race. Trump or presidents, I mean, government, 
all these people, how many really care about the average middle class or even poor family? Any of them? Of course not. And where are you and where am I? Well, I'm sure we're not in the high class. Uh, if you are, more power to you. But then again, you have to deal with a lot more breaking of karma. So, when we put our faith in things, who do we put it into? What do we look for in our protection and and how are we going to deal with that? I mean, hold on. They said something about the rich are going to run into their bunkers. Well, they will. If they were given an inside warning about what's going to happen over the next week, you're right. They will be running inside. But here's here's what I say, and it's just my viewpoint. Watch Oprah. Look for her show. Look for her for live anywhere, what she's doing and everything else. Because if you don't see her, then you worry because she went inside. She probably has the best bunker in the United States than anybody. Meaning swimming pool, everything you can imagine down inside there. And there was a guy on Jesse Ventura's show a a couple years ago talking to one guy that makes these elaborate underground cities and homes and everything else. He couldn't give the... uh, actual locations, even though he said they actually brought out one of the army uh, underground bases to to do it with and stuff like that. Uh, But he showed how it it is and what's going on inside there. Well, they get into their little bunker and then it gets sealed up. Well, I don't look at it as neat. I think it's sad. I think it's perverted uh, for the people out here to let it go on without... See, now, when a disaster hits, or as it's hitting, they only allow certain numbers, even in the army bunkers and stuff, they only allow a certain amount of people in. Uh, it's a native name, and I should remember it, but I don't. Uh, Hawksbud, that's my name, but it, it's... I can't think. Something Mountain. And they're only going to let 10,000 people in there. And then they close the doors and they said, nobody else comes near it. What's that mean? You go near the base, they blow you up or shoot you out or whatever. Uh, they don't go into details like that. But they said, this is all we can carry, all we're going to allow in. So do they try to get all their millionaires in there right away? But when that goes down, where is the money? Who has the money? Who is dealing with the money? I mean, you might be a millionaire. You go in inside the underground base... What do you think your money is now? Uh, so, I don't know if they understand that. Some people bury their money. I said, well, if lava comes over your land, you won't get your money. You won't even be able to find it. Uh, offshore bank, <laughs> really? When the banking systems get wiped out, where do you go for your money? So there's a lot of things that can happen. But here's what I see. One of the things I see, if a major disaster happens, which it will, just a matter of time, every minute we get closer to something dramatic happening, uh, and I think it's going to be a lot sooner than later, but uh, we are waiting for something dramatic, and dramatic to the level where banks get closed down, the electricity gets shut off on the planet, or half of the planet, or... Uh, Electricity doesn't work. Remember, everything requires certain things for them to work in the right level, right right energy field. Change the vibration, change the magnetic fields, and you screw everything up. So, what do I see happen? I see so many things happening. But the population is out of control. And mankind uh, thinks it's a good thing. I mean, the Muslim race uh, are having 6% more... I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10... uh, 
California is taxed for power because the harp system runs on their power. That's a fact. Now, I had family that worked in the power plant. When they turned on the power generators of the harp system at different times, they have to shut the grid works down or blow the city out. So there's a lot of things that, that are there, uh, and there's reasons for everything they do. Nobody knows that. I, I, my cousin, I met them, their, their uncle for the first time, and he worked in the power plant, and we got into talking, and he goes, oh, because yeah, I don't know if you watch the signs, oh, they have a major power failure, so they got to keep shutting the grid work down. Well, when they do that, they're playing with the harp system. And they could be blasting beams at the moon right now, beams at the, at, at Mars, whatever they think they're going to do. Uh, I know they hit the sun with blue, three blue bombs a couple of years, many years ago. About seven years ago. I'm there with numbers and dates and, and names. But, uh, and then we have these giant solar flares. One's going off right now, shooting flames out the side of the sun. They, they, it's not a solar flare. Solar flare is like a burst of light. This is like flame shooting out of, like, if you had a flamethrower on and you had it on the side of you and you saw the flame shooting out and it stays there. Well, they're not talking about that much. So all these little things that build up are going into why I say we're in trouble. Here, getting back to what I think. If we have a disaster coming, if you live underground, you're locked into the system you set up. You know, uh, let me finish this before I go into the moon again, but... uh when we play this game and we uh, talk about what the government does, how they do it, why they do it, and what we expect to get out of it, like fracking and all that, is dangerous. But these people go inside the earth, seal themselves in. They got a closed ventilation system. They can't pull the air in from outside. They don't pull their water in from outside either. So if bacteria or a virus gets into the air vent, guess what? They'll all die just like that. It won't be so complicated. It won't be so dramatic. It'll just instantly end their situation. So, whether you believe God, spirit, demons, entities, deities are playing with us and watching us, well, they are. But what they want will happen. If they want that to happen, they'll allow it to happen. But now the people on the outside, if we should have a power failure in the United States, everything goes down, we're in trouble. We've got a serious situation because now everybody is trying to get food and water. That's all anybody ever needs in their lifetime from birth to death. Aliens and everybody else. That's all they need, really. It has nothing to do with relationships and friends and all that other stuff. How fast their car goes and things like that. It is a matter of what are they going to eat? Give me one second. Hold on. Well, we each have a level of what we can do, what we can survive with, what we need. Sure, there's a race of people that can survive on just air and water for a year. They're pretty skinny at the end of the year, but they're still alive. I mean, if you watch Survivor and these shows, these people can't survive two days in the hot sun. I said, you know, some people are so programmed or so conditioned, they can't be put in a different condition. So, if we have a major problem with energy, power, the sun, people aren't going to be able to deal with the temperature change. 
Some people can't live without without an air conditioner. Some people can't live without a heater.